data killed. Item number, SCP-5790. Anomaly class, data expunged. Special containment procedures, data expunged. Operational purview, Records and Informational Security Administration, Memetics and Infohazards Division, Department of Spectral Phenomena, Office of Applied Necromancy, Department of Miscommunications. Information Handling Procedures Information about SCP-5790, designated I-5790, is to be purged in its entirety no more than seven days after creation, as per protocol ICON. The following purge methods have been approved. Information Source Official Foundation Database Purge Methods Automated Expungement by File Management Programs Verified periodically by Information Technology Team, ITT I-5790. Official Foundation Physical Records Creation of new physical records is prohibited. All known physical records containing I-5790 have been incinerated in ritualistic ovens and pyres. Unauthorized records by Foundation personnel. Documents are to be incinerated as above, if physical, or deleted without archival, if digital and the staff members in question amnesticized, demoted, and quarantined for a minimum of three months. If no anomalous activity occurs within this time, the employee may be reassigned. If said quarantine is not possible, termination is deemed a satisfactory alternative. Brains of Containment Team CT-5790 By monthly amnesticization and biannual rotation of personnel to prevent memory resurgence. If data expunged has already manifested, the site is to be quarantined, and MTF's Mu-13, Ghostbusters, and Theta-0, Antihierophanics, are to be dispatched to the location. Data expunged. Potential delayed manifestation. Any persons with non-atheistic religious beliefs are to be terminated shortly after. Any realized iconography is to be extracted from the cerebellum and incinerated. Brains of assigned mediums. Memory may be removed following communications, depending on the methods used. If this does not occur, a week-long course of deep amnestics is to be used to prevent the possible retention of spiritually obtained information. Pre-existing literature. Search and destroy via dispatch of MTF Chi-9, page turners. If found, documents containing I-5790 are to be incinerated on site, alongside the relevant relics data expunged, and civilian corpses. For this reason, all members of MTF Chi-9 have been provided with portable exorcism equipment and trained in its usage. Brains of MTF's Mu-13, Chi-9, and Theta-0. Amnestics administered following each SCP-5790 or I-5790 related dispatch. Relevant personnel are to attend no more than two incidents invoking I-5790 per annum, with the exception of Theta-0, for whom, data expunged. Core duties. A series of planned neurological surgeries are expected to allow Theta-0's members to better cope with their resultant psychological disorders, and lower turnover dramatically. Data expunged. Data expunged. Widespread theistic belief systems. Protocol Matthew long-term global theological cultural shift has been put in place to facilitate this. Subtle short-term procedures are also planned. Data expunged. Increased biological similarity between cerebrospinal fluid and holy water to lower death toll. Additional methods of destroying I-5790 may be used contextually following approval by assigned mediums. If no persons with a spiritual connection or second sight are available, consultation with a member of level 4 personnel with first principles, emergency response training is advised. All persons involved are expected to seek amnestic treatment and reassignment shortly after. Information Retrieval Procedures Thanks to a focused effort by Foundation personnel to execute Protocol ICON, I-5790 has been purged globally from the realm of the living. In the event that knowledge of SCP-5790 or its containment procedures is required, the following actions are to be taken. 1. The personnel requiring the information are to submit a formal request to Senior Researcher Grams. 
the current hazardous information containment liaison for SCP-5790. Requesting the information either out of personal curiosity or for low priority matters is strictly prohibited. 2. Contingent on said request being approved, senior researcher Grams is to schedule an appointment between the personnel submitting the request and an assigned medium. Proxies may be used if the former displays an aversion to post-mortem communications. 3. I-5790 is to be retrieved from the informational afterlife by the assigned medium through use of dowsing, talking boards, or other permitted forms of negligible risk necromancy. 4. I-5790 is to be treated as detailed under informational handling procedures. Personnel are to note that the use of occult communications for information storage does not have any bearing on SCP-5790 or its properties, beyond eliminating the risk, data expunged, false idol. The above sections cannot and should not be used to attempt to discern the nature of SCP-5790. As per its official policy, the Foundation remains opposed to the use of non-human afterlives for personal or organizational gains. In the case of SCP-5790 and its ability to realize data expunged. However, the use of actualized occultism to release the spirits of incinerated documents poses too great a benefit to containment to be discounted. The use of Protocol Icon as standard info containment for info-hazardous objects is under consideration, pending the development of a method of expanding the scope of SCP-5790's secondary properties. Description Data expunged 